Do you ever need to save wine for long periods of time? We don't have that problem, but do you, you might. So we are gonna be reviewing this Repour Wine Saver for those of you who can't finish the bottle in one sitting, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to CorkandJava.com. I'm Billy, and this is Bryn, and we all know you're supposed to get joy and fascination from even the little things in life that most people take for granted, including wine. <laughs> so here at Cork and Java, we're here to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages through wine and coffee reviews and how-tos. And today, we are reviewing this Repour Wine Saver. It's got some crazy claims about, <laughs> yeah. If you're someone who enjoys wine, please give us a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Appreciate that. Anyway, uh, so tell us a little bit about okay. this product because normally, you know, wine is good uh, if you, you know, recork it. If let's say you drank half the bottle, it's good for maybe two to three days um, and after about two days, you're starting to notice some of the oxidation, and then it starts really getting bad, like by the day four mark typically is when it's just like, mm, this is starting to, you know. Get stale. Yeah, starting to get stale. And then much further than that, you're starting to turn your wine into vinegar. So, mm. so what's the magic about this product, and what does it okay. claim it can do? So this Repour Wine Stopper or Wine Saver, uh, basically what it does is it takes your unfinished bottles of wine and it keeps it fresh for you by uh, eliminating any of the oxygen that is in the wine bottle. So um, and this is for standard uh, 750 milliliter bottles um, that it reduces or it eliminates the wine from. Um, so we'll demonstrate how to use one of these, but this is good for people who um, you know, just like to have a glass at the end of the day and you once know, it a takes week. Them, huh? <laughs> at the end of the week. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, like it can, I mean, there's people out there who, you know, don't finish a bottle. Like, if, especially if you're drinking alone, like mm -hmm. you're not going to just, you know, drink a whole bottle by yourself if you're most people. Um, so this is a great way to keep your wine from, you know, like Billy said, getting that oxidized stale taste um, and keeping it fresh, we think. Um, it claims that it will keep one bottle fresh up to two months, which is crazy. So um, we are gonna do um, a two-part test here. So um, we are going to uh, drink the wine as is, make our notes of how it tastes um, in as great of detail as we can. And then we'll come back in a few weeks, uh, you know, stick one of these in one bottle, come back in a few weeks, let you know if it's as fresh as it was the first time we drank it. And if so, then we will continue on to our second bottle of the same wine, which we'll do either one to two months out and see how it's faring at that point. Yes, so we just, uh... Picked up some Apothic Reds. It's, you know, your standard grocery store. Everyone's had it, pretty much. Um, it's nothing to super brag about. It's an okay table wine, yeah. And so we kind of wanted something that's relatable that you guys m probably have had or know about. Yeah, if you want to do this experiment for yourself at home, like, I mean, you can see if, you know, I'm obviously we're gonna tell you the truth on this channel, but you can see if, you know, our experiment matches up with your own. Try something, Apothic Red, um, the Josh wines, like something that's, you know, decent, but mm -hmm. nothing to write home about. But, um, you know, but that was what I was going for when I picked this up. First thing, I wanna make sure that both of these bottles taste the same. Okay. Because one of them, like we said, we're gonna open in about two weeks, give or take. And the other one we will open, we're gonna go a month. And if it's still good after a month, we might we'll recork it, it yeah. and then go another two weeks or so to see how, maybe even another month. To yeah, see I it mean, really... it says that it can do two months. So if it's good at a month or so, then we should definitely try and see if it's still good at two. And they give a money back guarantee. Um, so if, if you really need this now, we'll leave a link 
down below where you can pick this up on Amazon. Yeah, yeah this would actually be really great if you're having, I mean, I, I know most people aren't doing like wine parties right now, but if you have a, a party um, where, you know, there's tons of wines open at the end of the night, you have like a bunch of bottles with, you know, however much left in them, this would be a great way to be able to still drink all so the leftover wine. So it comes wine. with a pack of four? This is a pack of four, but there's packs of like 10 or 15 or bigger ones too. And they are reusable, correct? They are reusable just for the bottle that you Okay. put it in so yeah so you can reuse it for the same bottle as many times as you want but not for so basically they're good for two months sense. and then you gotta you can't use the same one again yeah. so yeah because it's got um what some kind of desiccant in there or something that absorbs There's oxygen material of some kind yeah. in the yeah yeah we'll show you how to uh administer the the repour here let's try this apothecary okay. Notice it's very, Ooh. very bland. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah, very fruit forward. I don't remember it being this sweet. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> we did just film our Harry Potter wine. Yeah. Uh, the the red blend, which was very bold, very big. Does it say what grapes are in here? Mocha. That is so accurate. Mm. That's like the word in red in the back. It's oh, okay. very chocolatey. Uh, it's a red blend. They okay. don't they don't say what's in it, but there's definitely residual sugar there. I almost picked up the Apothic Inferno, which we had many years ago, mm -hmm. um, that I remember liking, but it was twice the price of the. Um, the Apothic Red, and I was like, if this report doesn't work out so well, I'd, I'd rather not spend twice as much money on wine than, <laughs> and not be able to drink it than this stuff, so. Yeah, this bottle's yeah. exactly the same. Okay. Um, yeah, with, with giant manufacturers like this, I'm pretty sure that these are both the same year. 2019. Yeah, there's not going to be really any variation at all. Um, one, it's the same vintage. Two, it's made very uh, much in a factory type setting where there's not going to be much variation bottle to bottle. It's a blend, so they're they're really making very large batches. These could be from the same batch, who knows? Mm -hmm. It's good, but it, yeah, it is much sweeter than I remember. And it's, um, I mean, it's just, it's, yeah, it's it's good for a good like table wine that will be palatable for most people, but it's yeah, it's not like super exciting. And I'm pouring somewhere between to where it's between uh, maybe a third and a half ring or a third to a half out of it. I want to get them about even. That's pretty dang close. Mm -hmm. All right, now these are fairly intuitive. So you wanna do one, I'll do one? Sure. Okay, so if you can see this little foil thing here at the bottom, all you're gonna do is just remove this foil piece and then stick it in in place of where your cork was. If you have a screw top, it's the exact same Thing. You would just unscrew it and pull the foil and stick it in. It's kind of remi reminds me of like a printer ink cartridge where you got to pull the pull, little pull tab. Oh, yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. Oh, man. It's very sticky. Okay. All right. Mine's in. It's got a pretty good seal. Okay. All, All right. right. So now we wait. Yeah. We'll come back in a few weeks and check this one out, and, or one of them out, and then see how it goes. And then a month or so, and then maybe two months out for the next one. Yeah. The next bottle if we'll it works see. out. Stay tuned. All right, through the magic of editing, we are back two weeks later to see if the two week test is gonna work. You ready to try this? Yeah. This is the first time it's been opened in the last two weeks. Yep. We have not opened it at all. It's been in our fridge. 
We took it out about an hour ago to warm up just a little bit, but it still has a good seal. Ooh. It definitely had a little bit of a pop, like a champagne kind of bottle mm -hmm. cork, which is, I think, a good sign. We'll see. Take a look at the color first to see if there's any oxidation signs. So first thing you'll notice when a wine starts aging is it'll start to get a little brownish. bit brownish. Yeah. Looks good to me from what I can tell. Yeah, I, I don't notice any brown in the color, but usually if it's by the time it's brown, it's it's pretty far gone. So let's take a sniff to see if we Okay. Smell anything off or vinegary or anything like that. Okay. Mm -mm. Surprisingly not. I know. Yeah. Mm. So normally, if you just recork a uh, wine with a normal cork, in uh, in about four days, you're start gonna, you're gonna start to smell it a little bit off. Yeah. I would say this this has changed a little bit, but I don't say I wouldn't say it's gotten. Um, any... It doesn't smell foul. Yeah, no, it, it smells changed. like the next day wine. Like one day later, not a week, two weeks later. I don't think I remember well enough since it was two weeks ago exactly how it smelled. I remember pretty well how and it And it's a little it, bit but... cooler than it was then too, so you're going to get a little bit less on the nose. Yeah. Which is what I'm getting. But yeah, let's give it a taste okay. just to verify everything. Still that very heavy chocolate. Yep. Still a lot of that fruit board, semi-sweet. Yeah, this tastes like... A day old wine. Maybe, yeah. One day, like regular cork, put it in there, next day. Yeah, there, it has a little bit of um, just softening, yeah. I would say, from, you know, having a little bit of exposure to oxygen. But nothing at all bad. Like, definitely not oxidized, not turning to vinegar. Mm -hmm. And after two weeks, a normal wine would start doing that. Would would very noticeably be doing that. Right. So, wow. So, the two-week test, it is definitely feasible, which, in my mind, makes this a buy if you're in the market for something. If you regularly take two weeks to drink your wine mm -hmm. or longer then um, this is definitely, I don't know, something I recommend. And like we said, we'll leave a link down in the description if if you want to pick it up. I think it's on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be doing another video um, about, you know, two or three, four weeks from now uh, for the one month test. Now this thing says it can go for two months and uh, I know we're gonna try it at one month. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm really surprised and impressed that it tastes as good for being a two-week bottle open. I was, know? I have to be open honest, bottle. I was skeptical. Yeah, you were more skeptical than I was. I was like, no, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. If they say it can do two weeks, it can do two weeks. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm surprised that it, it tastes as good as it does. Um, but yeah, I, I'd hoped that it could do the two weeks. If so. it really took the oxygen out of the bottle while it's in there, though, that thing that's in the fridge right now should be f theoretically fine for a month or two if they removed, if this little thing removes all the oxygen out. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, whatever is in there that is supposed to help, like, remove it, I mean. Yeah, because nothing else is getting in once it's sealed. Right. It's not like we're opening this up, pouring. Uh, a few ounces every day and putting it back in, letting mm -hmm. new air in, which it says you, you can do that. Um, but that's definitely gonna lower the how long this will work for um, because you're just having to restart the process of removing oxygen out of the bottle every time you open it. Right, so if you're the kind of person that it, you know, maybe you're like the only person in your household that drinks or, you know, you just like a little bit each day, this would be great for you yep. um, to keep your wine fresh, that way you're not wasting it. Um, especially if you prefer like bottled wine to boxed wine or something That's like that. That's what I was gonna say, like my, our other recommendation, if you like, if maybe you're single and you like half a glass to a glass a day and 
the bottles that you get go bad before you can finish it. Box wine is another mm -hmm. a great way to uh and and we we did a review of a few different box wines the really only one that we found worth it was boda box mm -hmm. uh i we really like that brand for just kind of an everyday table wine it's nothing spectacular i haven't found any box wine that's like billy, blown me away yeah but. billy had the box wine when i was pregnant with our children and i wasn't drinking and mm -hmm. he could drink wine but not have to like drink the whole bottle yeah. in one sitting or two without it going bad so i would just get the box wine you and drink a, like a glass a night or something mm -hmm. yeah yeah, so that's also a good option. But this is great. Um, and I think we mentioned before about like if you have like a big wine party or something and you have lots of bottles at the end of the night left over, this would be great to keep all those things fresh. And so you can work your way through everything and not feel like you have to like yeah. chug all the wine, but so it doesn't go bad too. Yeah. So. That's probably the use case that we're going to be using it in the most. <laughs> yeah, we have wine parties in the summertime. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, other, this was like a super inexpensive, you know, we just went for it to see if it worked or if it was just gimmicky and I'm surprised and so glad far, to say so that good. it works so far. So. Yeah, make sure you're subscribing to the channel so you don't miss when we do the review of the one month. Mm -hmm. Or if you're seeing this in the future, go check it out now <laughs> and see if it, it works for that uh, full month. Although, even though it says it can do double that length, um, after the two week and not really noticing much change, I'm starting to get pretty confident that it can do a month. Well, and then maybe if we do a month, we can try it out at two months and see if, you know, if it's good out a month, we can go for the gold and try yeah. it for the two months, do the max. You know? Yeah. Like try it, put it back in and let it go. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. If the one month works out. Mm -hmm. Guys, leave a comment down below with how long have you had a bottle of wine last and have you had any experiences with uh, wine going bad in your home and just let us know what that was like. Yeah, and if you've used these and had great success as well or tried it and it didn't work, please let us know that too. Mm -hmm. That would be good to see your experience with these Repour wine savers. Also guys, we can't stress this enough that if you wanna join a wine club, the California Wine Club is the one to do. Um, we will leave great promo discounts in the description below, but this is the best California wine from family-owned vineyards delivered straight to your door wherever you are in the U.S. Um, it comes with a magazine that tells you all about the vineyards, comes with great customer service. Anytime we've had an issue, we contact California Wine Club and they are there to help us like that. So yeah. um, definitely check out the California Wine Club. It makes a great gift. Um, I know like Mother's Day and Father's Day and all that stuff is coming up in a few months. So um, it makes a great gift if you are already thinking about ideas for that. Yeah. It's a great way to kickstart your wine experience. Yep. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys online. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. So until next time, bottoms up. up.